Hi guys, in my last video I bemoaned enterprise software without really explaining what enterprise needs are. So I'm a bit conflicted. I'm a long time Linux user. I am experienced with running systems, but I also like, you know, tinkering around, developing software. I like just being in control. But now I'm working in the, in the enterprise world, it's quite a big shift for me because enterprises don't care about software development. They care about software integration. What does software integration mean? It means uh, governance. It means upholding the mission of the company. It means getting the systems running reliably, uh, making sure that the revenue it takes in is done correctly and you know has full integrity. It means uh, there's a security processes in place. It means there's disaster recovery processes in place. Everything has to be foolproof. If someone guy gets sick, there's got to be someone to fill that position. It means, you know, complying to regulation, all, all sorts of stuff. So you, with all these things in mind, most enterprises are just too busy, you know, running their operations correctly. They don't care about software development. They probably don't have software engineers, really. They have people who are trying to, like, buy products and integrate them. And what are they looking for? They're looking for, you know, great support. They're looking for like uh, a contract where if something does go wrong, that they can offset the risk to you. So they're not going to necessarily buy any piece of software from a small company. They want like, you know, big time skin in the game um, type guarantees, right? And they're looking for things that are just basically foolproof. Because, you know, you might have a backup script or something like that that's easy enough, but like, is, you know, is, it like a, is there a button to restore or something like that? Or is there um, some planning and, 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 and ways to prove, to validate that that restore happened correctly as it should have done and all the rest of it? So you must understand the needs of an enterprise is very different to a software company. And you've got to understand, like, do you want to work in an enterprise where, you know, does it take a box for you to get the systems running all the time and, and setting up these kind of like, uh, you know, workflows and processes so that, you know, and, and check boxes. I mean, does, does that interest you? I mean, let's be honest, it's kind of, kind of boring work, but it's stable work. And I guess it's, it's secure work for, for you as a middle-aged engineer or something like that <laughs> to do, right? And that's that. That's that's where I personally feel a bit conflicted, actually, because because I I like to create. Really, I'm a you see me con creating content. So when it comes to these like boring, uh, you know, compliance meetings and stuff, I feel a little bit out of place. I, in my heart of heart, I, I, I'm a small business guy, but I'm, but the way the world works, you know. There are these enterprises, I would say a lot of the time they're sort of artificially created by government regulation. You know, all the, all the big enterprises in this world are in heavily regulated industries. And they, they, they basically are too big to fail. And they are... Uh, 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 a big part of me wishes that they could just be broken up and, and, and we could be served by small companies interchangeably. But... But let's be honest, like, you know, do you want to keep your personal data in lots of little companies <laughs> or one big company um, doing it, doing it right, you know, getting audited and all that stuff? It's a tricky thing. And similarly, if you think that you're going to do like B2B to an enterprise company, you've really got to understand that your, your software has to be enterprise grade. I mean, this is why Oracle is Oracle. They sell the whole damn thing, the whole suite, the support contract, the risk. You've got to understand that the enterprise world is fundamentally different to this open source stuff that you probably deal with day to day or um, a startup. Hopefully this video is some food for thought because I kind of went into it a bit blindly. I'm trying to make the best of the situation. But yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little. So any tips 
below about how to make the enterprise interesting, <laughs> uh, do let me know. I do think there are some, there probably, there are some, there might be some room for innovation in an enterprise company because you can't entirely rely on vendors and RFPs and RFQs to get stuff done. You often do find rogue IT inside some big enterprises trying to do something. Um, but I think that's usually in some in some places which I don't really care for, like the UI layer, you know, making it, uh, making the corporation consistently have some sort of, um, making the corporation have some sort of consistent UI branding feel on the top layer between, you know, 10 or 20 systems. You need a UI layer, layer for that and, and a vendor can't really provide that. You know, you have to provide that. So, so maybe it can be quite interesting doing that UI layer. But I guess I'm a bit more of a, I'm a, I'm a bit of a backhand guy. I mean, for, for me, I guess I'm cast as an architect nowadays, but I find it frustrating when different vendors are doing their different things and I can't really tell them to do stuff. You know, if they're, log if they're logging in like a weird way, I can't say, hey, hey, stop using structured logs, dudes. It doesn't really work that way. Um, it's it's quite challenging. So because you got to realize that most of these vendors have their own source code and that you can't they don't they're all siloed. They can't really share source code. And I guess it goes back to my dreams of the monolith. If everything was in one source code base, I think I'd be happier because I could basically get some stuff done. Right now, it, it's an intense amount of of coordination, intense amount of meetings, you know, a lot of these vendors don't have technical people in the meetings, right? There might be a business person and sort of has to filter down. Anyway, so these are the challenges that I'm having to face day to day. So if you have any advice to me, do let me know at the bottom. Otherwise, I hope this video was educational as to what an enterprise is. A bit of a beast. See you guys. Please like the video.